question. What's the halal way of approaching a girl you like? We've made it more complicated than uh, the Sahaba. They interacted with each other, they talked to each other, they worked with each other, they were in business partnerships. All kinds of interactions happened between men and women, but with principles. It was respectful, it was dignified. And when a companion, when, when somebody likes somebody else, you know what they did? Here's the astaghfirullah part. Here's what they did. Hey, I like you. You want to get married? And she'd say, maybe, talk to my dad. He'd say, okay. And then you go to the dad and say, hey, I, I like your daughter. And she's, I mean, I talked to her, she's not entirely opposed to the idea. Is it cool? And he says, let me talk to my daughter. How this happens today in London, is you go to a girl, respectfully, hey, we, we worked together for three years, would you consider marrying me? And she's like, ah. And maybe she says, please don't talk to my dad, he'll kill me. Because if you talk to my dad, he'll say, this is why you go to work? This is why we sent you to uni? Like, you, fathers, I have four daughters. Listen, th those of you that are fathers, that have daughters, you sent your daughters to university. You brought your daughters to this country. You made them live here. You brought, you took them outside in society. You made that decision. And when somebody like a Muslim likes them, that's a good thing. How are they going to get married sitting at home? Who's going to like them? So when somebody approaches them in a respectful way, you should not say, Oh my God, the day has come. Astaghfirullah. You know, You know, what a humiliation. Now we have to go take you back into 